Well, hi, children. Welcome to Children's Corner today. Uh, as you can see, uh, you kind of caught me eating grapes. There's this beautiful song in the Bible. It's a love song. And the song goes something like this. My beloved, in other words, the one I love, have, was so excited to make a vineyard. Now, you know what a vineyard is, right? So a vineyard is um, grapevines. And then at the end, there's always a hope that you'll find delicious, juicy, sweet grapes. Well, the song kind of goes on what he did. He bought the most fertile ground. He, he got rid of all the stones. He found the choicest vines. These, these are the vines, you know. And uh, he went with the vines and he planted it and cultivated it. And he even built a wine press because that's what they use the grapes for, for wine. And he built a big wine vat. And he built a tower to protect the vineyard from predators, from animals, from other people who may want to steal the choice grapes. And the love song becomes really sad. Let me tell you how it says. And he looked for it to yield grapes, but it yield wild grapes. Now, I don't know if you know what wild grapes are. Wild grapes are sour. These are not sour. These are the kind of grapes the owner of the vineyard was waiting for. I mean, they are really juicy and sweet. But all he got was wild, sour, small, not even beautiful grapes at all. He couldn't use it for wine. He says, I did everything to get a beautiful, juicy grape, and all I got was wild grapes. What could I have done? Could I have done any more? He asked that question because the love song is about you. It's about God's people. And he is waiting for us to bear delicious fruit. But sometimes, because of our rejection of Jesus, and because we don't make him a priority, and we do our own thing, we become wild grapes and sour. So I'm asking you, when Jesus is waiting for good grapes because he's done everything possible, don't be a sour grape. Be the kind of grape that bears a lot of fruit in the name of Jesus, whose love song is, I've done everything I can, and I expect juicy grapes. Let's pray. Lord, Heavenly Father, sometimes we find ourselves sour and negative and rebellious and stiff-necked, and all we produce is sour grapes. We pray, Lord, that for all the love you cared for us and protected us, we pray we become the grape you expect of us. We pray that Jesus enters our vine and makes us juicy, wonderful, fruit-bearing grapes. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.